What's going on guys? This is Nick from Budget Build Garage and today I'm going to show you how to use an extractor to pull out a broken bolt. The problem with this bolt is it is the valve cover bolt. In order to pull this thing out, I'm gonna get a bunch of metal shavings everywhere. I wanna make sure I cover up every important surface with some rags. Um, the other thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a bunch of grease. Now, the grease I'm using, really any grease will work. The thicker, the better. Um, I'm gonna put it around the bolt hole. What that's gonna do is catch any sort of random metal shavings that are kinda coming out. It'll get all thick and gross with it, which is awesome because it won't get everywhere else. And it's a lot easier to clean up at the end of this. After you've done that, what you want to do at that point is go ahead and make like a pilot hole. You're going to pick an extractor and the extractor is going to have a corresponding drill bit size. So we'll be using that. But you want to make sure your original pilot hole, which I'm going to use with a punch, is as straight in the center of that bolt as possible. That way, if you ever have, if you have to keep stepping up in sizes like this, well, if the first one doesn't work, you can use a bigger size. You'll be happy if that thing is perfectly straight. And if it doesn't work at all, we got to drill that thing completely until it's gone. We want to make sure it kind of falls away evenly. Um, once you do that, pick your extractor. I don't like to use the smallest extractor I can because it's more likely to break. I like to use kind of one step up from that and go from there. Um, once you've picked your extractor, go ahead and use the drill bit, which comes with it, to drill your first hole. Once you've done that, you're going to go ahead and use the extractor. The thing with these extractors is they run on reverse rotation. So, set, so go ahead and put your drill in reverse and then drill into that bolt. Do it somewhat slowly. Don't just bore into it. You're trying to get it to grab and pull out. Once the bolt is out, you want to make sure you check the threads. A lot of times there's a reason these bolts broke, so the threads could be stripped. At that point, you want to take like a tap and die set, find the right size, and re-tap it. If they are fine, maybe someone just over-torqued it a bit so it snapped the head off, and your threads are good, then go ahead and put the bolt back in. Honestly, this thing came away really easy, way easier than I thought it would. Um, I was kind of hoping it would take a few tries so I could show you. But the valve cover bolts aren't really torqued down that tight. Um, if I find another broken bolt and this doesn't work, I'll show you a couple other tricks I have to pull stuff away that's being a lot more stubborn than this. All right, so that's really it for this episode. Honestly, I just found this while I was working on the Camaro and thought it'd be easier to search it, search for it on the internet if it was just its own video. So it's just something quick to do while I'm working on this thing. Hope you enjoyed it. If you have questions, go ahead and you know put them in the comments. I'll answer them. Um, if you like the video, like. Subscribe and I'll see you on the next video.